Update 2 on Hurricane Patricia, currently with winds of 160 miles per hour and a pressure of 924 millibars, a Category 5 hurricane in the East Pacific, moving uh, at position 16.2 degrees north, 105.1 degrees west as of 3 a.m. UTC on October 23rd. The NHC forecast calls for even more strengthening in the next 12 hours, where it will reach a peak of 165 miles per hour expected and a landfall in Mexico as a significant Category 4 storm. Patricia could cause catastrophe along the coast of Mexico and hurricane warnings are rightly in effect. The storm is expected to then move inland and weaken rather quickly into a tropical storm as it heads towards the northeast. There are some rumblings that the remnants of the storm could regenerate in the Atlantic off the coast of Texas. Um, right now, Hurricane warnings are in effect for the coast of Mexico, particular locations from San Blas to Punta San Telmo, that's the hurricane warning, that could be anywhere along there could receive hurricane force winds uh, likely to be near the west there, that's going to be the potential landfall area. Hur hurricane watches and tropical storm warnings are in effect from Punta San Telmo to Lazaro Cardenas, further towards the southeast there. Um, no warnings in effect elsewhere, but places further north may see tropical storm watches in the future, depending on what exactly happens with the storm track. Sea surface temperatures are very warm indeed for this Category 5 Hurricane Patricia, 31 degrees Celsius not so long ago, still around 30 degrees, and that could rise as the storm moves closer to land again, um, which is certainly warm enough to sustain tropical cyclone development. Wind shear is likely to begin an increase starting today, uh, but there is still a significant window in which the storm could intensify yet further in the next 12 hours before possible weakening occurs. Here's the water vapour imagery, you can barely see the storm's eye it's so small on this imagery you can also see Olaf to the west out in the open Pacific uh, still a significant storm there as well uh, the latest computer models uh, this is what the track forecast says you can see they're very close knit there um, showing a landfall in Mexico along the western coast there and then moving inland and then reaching the Atlantic in around five or six days, possibly a little bit less. Looking at the possible intensity on landfall, we're looking at category four at this point and there you can see the wind fields as the storm moves inland. This is a few hours ago, so it isn't predicting as strong a landfall as we are now expecting, only a Cat 3 shown on there. Here's what the latest satellite imagery shows. You can see how the storm's been progressing in the last few frames on the satellite imagery. Look at it. Uh, the very strong eye in the centre, very intense looking eye rather. But look at the, um, the eye wall around it, a spectacular eye wall, um, almost um, beyond what we've ever seen really. That's at the current time. We don't anticipate the storm to be as strong by the time it makes landfall, but this certainly is not a good omen. Uh, what you're witnessing here is something that doesn't happen very often. I mean, it's the first time it's happened this year that we've seen such an intense storm. Uh, an intense looking storm, at least, anyway, even though it's not the most intense just yet. Here's what the... Uh, Ocean looks like right now, there you can see Patricia, Olaf to the west there, category 2 still and likely to remain a cat 2 for some time, Champy has weakened to a cat 2 after being a cat 3 as well and a very wide eye on that one, tropical depression 26 dissipating to the northeast in the west pacific. We also have Invest 92S in the southwest Indian Ocean which may or may not form. So far we've seen 81 storms form in 2015 so far, that's 26th position around the world, 46 have gone on to become category 1 hurricanes or their equivalents, and 33 have gone on to become major hurricanes with winds of 115 miles per hour or higher. Um, which is not too far from the record in itself actually, um, I'm not entirely sure what the major hurricane record is, uh, but I'll find out for you at some point. You can follow Force 13 on any of its outlets, the website force13.com, the main place to be for all the goings on around the world stormwise and the tracker that you saw a few moments ago. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 all in text or add me personally on Skype at Fool13 for, for, for tropical weather chat on there. We're going live again at 2pm UTC. Uh, that's going to be in around uh, 11 hours from now on October 23rd. That will be um, around 6 or 7 a.m. or perhaps 8 a.m. local time in Mexico. That's all for now.